Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to La Mulana 2. Concentrate on your leaf. So, uh... I'm hitting a lot of dead ends that I don't know how to deal with right now, but I do remember that at some point I was involved in combat against, uh... What was it? Ratatosker. Ratatosk? Giant squirrel monster. And I think, and it just wrecked me? And then I never went back to fight it again. And apparently, usually when you encounter a boss in this game, you can, uh, you're ready to fight it. At least somewhat. So... I'm pretty sure I encountered that in the Immortal Battlefield. So, I'm gonna go back to the Immortal Battlefield and hunt around, see if I can find... Squirrel Monster. Ah, oh, here we are. Immortal Battlefield. I'm pretty sure it was over near the left side. So, I'll just head left, and hope for the best. Yeah, eat that, jerk. I wonder... Altar Gate, a gate that leads to Locopala Race's Altar of Destruction. Those who, those without the symbol of the Devout, the dinosaur figure, are not permitted to enter. Interesting. So I need to acquire a dinosaur figure. Hmm. That's right, I don't trust this. Okay, so wait. Where was that one down from here? A, B, C, D, E, F, three. Alright, I'm gonna make a note for the Immortal Battlefield. F3, return with dinosaur figure. I wonder if the dinosaur figure even does anything else. Hmm. Alright, the other option is to go below and to the left. Wait. Alright, right, right, you cannot jump up in. Okay. I just realized these crystal skulls are in the same category as a uh, the hand scanner. Oh, salt. Wait, pepper. The color made me think it was salt. What if I go to the back side of the immortal battlefield? And then try and head upward. Oh yeah, I wanted to get to here. But anyway. Nope, not here.
Hmm. Oh no, I was spotted by. Hey, what's this? Looks like another one of those altar gates. Alright, whoops. No, oh, there you can't. A, B, C, D, D3. D3, D. Oh, hey. You know what I should do? Start up my timer. Yep. Oh, hey. I think this is the place. Yeah. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time of the pit of time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. Oh, hey, Ratosk is holding a crystal skull. Ow. Hey, what if... Ow. Wow, that knocks me far. Yeah. Ha, oh, take that, you jerk. Sheesh. Ugh. Well, that was kind of frustrating. I, I could use shuriken, but that would take forever. Ah. Okay, so taking forever it is. Ah. Come on. Okay, so really. What if I use Earth Spears? Those were phenomenally powerful at the time.
Ow. Hmm, couldn't hit it twice with that, I see. Too bad. Hmm. I'm not really a fan of this boss. No, 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 no. Okay. Come on. Oh, good job, me. Yeah, take that, Ratatosk. Oh, nice, a crystal skull. What's... What's this? This is a gear-shaped hollow in this machine-like object. Okay, great. What do I do about that? Okay, so then, A, B, C, three. C, three, gear. Okay, um, while I think about what to do, I'm going to remember that I got the third children, are the race of winged beings found in Heaven's Labyrinth. The Gigas race has been sealed inside by the race known as the Olympians. However, the Olympians are considered to be a fair and just race, and it seems strange I detect no sense of ambition nor drive from them. Oh, it's almost like there's been some propaganda going about. The third children had wings and were apparently able to fly. Consequently, their physical composition varied greatly from that of modern man. The backs of their heads were elongated and they had very thin bodies. It's possible that they had extremely lightweight bones as well, much like birds. According to records I found during my investigation of the La Mulana ruins, they apparently adopted the civilization and culture of the first children. A pair of twins, Edigna and Budanun, were among the few survivors of the first children. This means that the civilization of the first children was acquired from those two twins. They then embarked on the task of creating a copy of the mother. Back in the La Mulana ruins, I defeated monsters called Nuwa and Tiamat, said to have been born from imitation of the mother's power. However, they were both gigantic snake women. I suppose accurately recreating the mother's power must have been impossible for them. It's somewhat understandable that this sort of behavior would cause the mother to wipe them all out. According to the Olympians, it was the Gigas, the Gigas, the Gigas, who were attempting to create the, this copy of the mother. I guess what? We'll see what kinds of further information turns up. All right, so. I want to look at my notes, see if there's anything I can do anything about right now. Uh, let's see here. Ice fire tree tops, shining scythe, frost giant sigil, two sigils, fairy gill. Uh -huh, I think I already did this drop down. Time stop. Well, hey, this prayer thing I don't need to deal with it on Woofing. Let's see, Valhalla wants all four seals. Ice fire treetops. Has a door and newt that I want to do something about. Okay. 
shot below Grail Tower. Let's see. E4 approach from left, D3 approach from right. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get to E4 here and approach it from the left. A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4. Something's going down 1 and right 3. Right 2. Okay, so, right, I can't approach from the left. Hmm. Alright, well. How about if I go to the roots of Yggdrasil and go to Icefire Treetop again? Which I believe is accessed from the top. unpleasant. Oh, come on. Alright, so. Ascension. Ow. Alright. Hey, can I see what this going has to say? The World Tree, Yggdrasil, has three main routes. I found entrances at the end of two of the routes, but I'm unable to find anything at the end of the third route. Are the old texts incorrect about the third route leading to the land of the dead? Huh. Rigid. So, whoops. Very good. Eh. Get, get. Oh, oh wow, this water is so cold that I'm still taking damage from it even though I have the scales here. Interesting. Also, I can't swim down very far to get to that, uh... That thing. I feel like I need an anchor or something to walk in water. I need the gravity suit, darn it. Where is the Chozo to lend me their aid when I need them? Ah! Hidden behind the wall, pinned by the golden rock. Okay, okay, that is there. Good, I need that. So then...
Okay. This feels like a boss arena kind of screen, except there are enemies here. Huh. Encant words in the midst of the ominous twisting swelter. The two words that illuminate day and night. have sun and moon, I have sun and something else. Okay, I'm not sure that Pepper actually did beyond leaving a powder behind. A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 2. Yeah, ice fire tree top. G, 2. Treasure, how do I get to it? Well, what if I just try smacking everything in here? I mean, I have recently learned that even a, that even a, those note blocks, those grave markers or whatever, can be smashed. Okay, so nothing here. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so then. There's supposedly a hidden shop on this screen, but where? getting closer to revealing the hidden shop. Which I'm guessing gives me access to that uh, hot spring. What? No, 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 okay. So this is just at what is accessed from the right side there. Hey! Hey, there's a sigil there.
Ow. Crud. Nope, 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 nope. Anyway, tag the sigil. this have to say? Those who would seek audience with the mistress of the underworld of hell must first gain my permission. Permit me! To reach hell you must first enter the eternal prison. To enter the eternal prison you must first defeat the terrible bird Vidofnir. To defeat Vidofnir you need the power of flame. Suture's wife, Sinmara, possesses the power of flame. You will need the light scythe in order to receive the power of flame from Sinmara. The light scythe lies inside the eternal prison, therefore you cannot reach hell. Is there anything something you can do? If you absolutely insist you could try speaking to others familiar with the underworld, I shall not stop you. Would you have me repeat this? I have memorized it. The underworld is always hungry for living souls. Okay, so... Whoops! No! Okay. Sing, bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. I think I've almost deciphered it. The bird of prey down below, I need to sing at the foot of it? But sing what song? Earth? Oh, fairy guild path. Yes. Yes. How much cash do I have? 229. Is that enough for fairy gold stuff? I don't even know. But I do know that I know the location of two fairy guilds. Okay, so then. Okay. Well then. What's over here? Okay, so then. Hey, this leads somewhere, doesn't it? The Immortal Battlefield. Immortal but oh, this is the part of the immortal battlefield I couldn't reach due to a uh, being unable to hit that thing under the ground. Virtue is measured akin to a number of ox hooves. So in order to get into that bottom thing, I have to go from below. If I go here, I can't come back easily. The Infernal Fiend bites into the neck of the Colossal Dragon, thus binding the two together. A 
this screen just confuses the heck out of me. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going back to the village of departure. And healing. And saving and exiting. I guess today's big accomplishment was Ratatosk. Yep. Ratatatatosk. So, join me next time when I, uh. I guess explore more of the Immortal Battlefield.